Good afternoon, Yankees fans. It is Felix yet again from nynews.com. Like always, hola como estas? Hashtag hola como estas? Yankees fans, in all my years running nynews.com, which has been around since 2005, I have never, ever, of this magnitude, I have never seen such an attack on the Yankees front office or as an organization ever in my life. And in my opinion, it was planned. I'm not going to drop names, but it was coordinated. So, if you don't know, Hector Gomez, who supposedly, supposedly, in parentheses, supposedly he's respected, followed by Heyman, all of these writers. So, Hector Gomez is from the Dominican Republic. Hey, my family's from the Dominican Republic. Are they going to have inside information about Manny Machado too? Just because he's from there doesn't mean he has the scoop of, let's say, oh, the Yankees are out and the White Sox and the Phillies are the only teams in the running for Manny Machado. So after Hector Gomez tweeted out just that, that the Yankees were out, Yankees Twitter exploded. Hal Steinbrenner was public enemy number one. Cashman was being destroyed as well. Everybody was being destroyed, even me. My mentions were blown up. Oh, delete your Twitter now, etc. But you know what, guys? I never stood down. I doubled down. While all these other so-called Yankees insiders on Twitter threw in the white flag, they ate it right up. And I was like, this doesn't make sense. I was told that the Yankees are 100% in on Manny Machado. As of now, they want to move money. Be confident that they're able to move that money. And that's when you'll see them sign Manny Machado. So this went on Twitter for about three hours or two hours. People were so mad at Hal Steinbrenner and the Yankees that there's images of people punching holes into their walls. There's a whole bunch of memes about Hal Steinbrenner and Brian Cashman. And I was sitting back and laughing at everything. Everybody that follows me on Twitter, they're going to tell you. Felix was the only one that was cool and collective. The only positive guy out there. If that doesn't prove my information about Manny Machado being spot on, I don't know what does. Because the world came crashing down last night, and I never gave in to the Felix, deactivate Twitter. Felix, you're a scumbag. Felix, you're pathetic. Felix, you will burn in hell with the New York Yankees, etc. I never gave in. Because I am 100% confident that the Yankees are in Manny Machado. In two to three hours after that tweet from Hector Gomez, I believe the Yankees got on the phones and hit up a whole bunch of writers and said, hey, this is fake news. Can you make a tweet? Can you make a internet posting saying that we're not out? And a whole bunch of writers indeed did that. And even the NY Daily News had to write an article saying that the Yankees were not out. And then today we find out that the White Sox offer is only $200 million for seven years. About $28 million per season for Manny Machado. This is pathetic. This was the worst kind of fake news ever to hit the internet. In my honest opinion, somebody's throwing a fit. The Yankees are not talking to people. They're laying low, and they're going to strike when they feel the need to strike. What we saw last night was writers being desperate that the Yankees weren't talking to them, so they wanted more information from the Yankees to confirm that the Yankees were indeed still in on Machado. But the level, which was sickening, this fake news was so sick that Hal Steinbrenner started to trend on Twitter. People destroying the Yankees. The magnitude of the destruction of the tweet from Hector Gomez. I could see last night how that tweet might have affected, let's say, a potential season ticket holder or just a person that wanted to support the Yankees buying a whole bunch of tickets or whatever. A tweet like that, fake news like that, has an effect. I'm pretty sure the Yankees stock took a plunge when that tweet came out. All I know is, the way Brian Cashman and the Yankees operate, I know for a fact that they were angry at that tweet or that information, and expect Brian Cashman and the Yankees to activate and become a fully functional Death Star. So Yankees fans, you have nothing to worry about. The Yankees are indeed on Manny Machado. 
Hey, the White Sox are offering $200 million for seven years. All the Yankees have to do is just match one of these offers that the Phillies or White Sox make. They're not going to get blown out the water. I told you guys. Nolan Arenado has, has affected the market for Manny Machado. Like I said, don't expect teams to blow him out the water with offers. Manny Machado and his agent, they're just going to have to cut their losses and sign with the New York Yankees. It's just a given at this point. Nobody's offering that uh, 325 figure that his agent is asking for. In my honest opinion, it's a given that Manny Machado is a New York Yankee. So Yankees fans, leave your opinions in the comment section below. And like always, this has been Felix from nynews.com. Share, like, and subscribe, and I will check you out next time. Before it hits the front page.